Hello, this is Phil and Kim, wifey husband music time. And at the top of this hour, and how we've been starting almost every show, we have cat news. Yes, we do. Uh huh. So, well, last time we talked, we were here, talked. Mm. <laughs> last time we saw each other. <laughs> The last time we had our on-air therapy session. Last time on Phil and Kim Wifey Husband Music Time, we updated that we put Juju down and Charlie had moved in. So there's another there's another bit to this story. And I think we're at the end now. We're nearing the end of the cat drama, maybe. We'll see. Maybe I'm just drawing a blank, but I don't remember doing the, the Charlie news. Yeah. Yeah? Did that, uh-huh. that happen? Okay. Yeah, well, definitely. yeah, I guess he's been in that long. Yeah, okay. Because he was, I mean, he was, like, rolling around in here for the last time. Oh, we, you're right. Okay, yeah. Last yeah. time we, he yep. was, last time we were on, he was, and we were like, and now Charlie's here. Mm-hmm. Um, so, two years ago, I had a neighbor pass away and leave behind a all gray kitty with a serious case of the grumps. Um, and his family, who lived a couple doors down, and they still do, actually, they asked if I would look after him. And I said, okay, his name is Atticus, this all-gray grumpy cat. And I'd had Juju and Fergal at the time, and I didn't want to uh, bring anybody in at the, at the time and, like, upset anything, especially since Atticus was a grouchy son of a bitch. Yeah. Um, so I always told myself, though, that if something happened to him... I would grab him up and he would come inside. Yeah, and there have been a few times where like, we were concerned. Yeah, because... You were concerned and I was worried about how concerned you were. Uh, also true. So, well, for I mean, because like, for the first year or so, he was only coming around once a week or so, maybe twice a week. Mm-hmm. And then it turned into me feeding him, putting food out for him every day. And then he was coming around more and more and more. And then he's coming around two times a day for food. And then last last weekend, yeah. um, he just, like, I got really sick. Not last week, but the week before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I finally started to be able to leave the house again, Atticus wasn't coming up to me like normal. Because he basically lives on the porch on the lawn chair. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically his house. Especially this year. Yeah. Like, he just became a permanent fixture of our yeah. lawn. Over the past, like, four or five months, he's, like, our house and our yard and under the house is his ho- is his house. Yeah. He doesn't go, he doesn't, like, roam around the neighborhood anymore. He just mm. hangs out in our yard all the time and gets very defensive about his yard. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he disappeared for three days. Like, we yeah. didn't see him. He didn't come out just... for food. And it's highly unusual for him. I can't think when I didn't see him on a given day. So when you pointed that, I was like, oh, man, you're right. That's probably not good news. Sometimes I wouldn't see him very first thing in the morning. But when I came home from work in the afternoon or I went to take the trash out or something later, he would be there. Hmm. So not not seeing him at all for three days, I was getting really freaked out. So then I went back to work last Monday. And... I get a message from Phil, like, right before I'm about to leave that says, Atticus just reappeared, he's limping, and I'm pretty sure he's dehydrated. He's, like, cross-eyed, and I put food and water in front of him, and he started drinking, like, all the water immediately. And I was like, oh, no. And he wasn't putting any weight on his right front paw. So I came home, um, took him to the emergency vet at, like, 8.30 that Mm -hmm. night. Which is like kind of our bedtime typically. Yeah, we. I'm. I. I don't know how I've turned into like I'm not doing anything past like seven thirty. <laughs> but we, we approach forty. Is, is what happened, yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We're almost. We're almost forty. That'll do it. Um. Ew. I want to be thirty nine this year. <laughs> Me ew. too. Later. <laughs> yeah. I'll always be younger I, than you, babe. I'm six months older than Phil. Anyway. I'll never um, catch up. Ew. I don't. Know. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I'm. I, I'm. You're making. I'm tangenting. I'm tangenting. Anyway, uh, Atticus has had a sprain. I had to get him an X-ray. I gave him some. He's on antibiotics, and uh, now he lives inside. Mm-hmm. He's been and because he does not get along with other cats so well. We've been 
trying to very slowly integrate him into the rest of the house. And he's been totally fine to be in the bedroom by himself, no problem. And then just yesterday evening, he started wanting to come out more. And look who's here. It's Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Fergal has been hiding under the the blankets in in the studio the last, like, three days. And Mm -hmm. Kim sat on him or almost sat on him moments ago. Just a second ago. Because he puts himself in that position. And now I think Charlie is actually kneading on Fergal. What's happening over there? Ay, 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 ay. (laughs) These kitties. Um, it's lots of cat news. Uh, the air conditioner broke down yesterday, too. So if oh, you yeah. hear a little noise in the background, that's, that's the fan. fan that we need to live. Yeah, so w- found out like way too late in the day and on a Sunday that it was not turning on. I have a feeling it's just clogged. Don't eat, drink my water. Get out of here. Get with your cat <laughs> ass mouth. Um, cat ass. Well, they lick their asses and they drink my water. I don't. Then <laughs> I don't want to drink the water anymore because it's cat <laughs> ass mouth water. Um. I think that's it. I think yeah, that's all yeah. the news, right? Uh, with that, should we jump into our funny list? Kind of working yeah. off the theme of our last grim cat news? Yeah. So we we were having a hard time coming up with what we wanted to do this week. And Phil has suggested workout songs. Mm. And I was like, that's that's pretty good. I, my workout songs tend to be kind of chill. Because mm. when I think of work, I don't... Yeah, it wasn't really... Yeah. It would be a, it would have been a weird list. Yeah, yeah. Because I like, I, I I'm all over the place. So then we we thought maybe um we should do like weird songs or mm. and stuff like that. And Phil was like, yeah, let's do yeah. like our was, our favorite funny songs that we like. It was non-committal to like a, a half dozen ideas, and we finally landed yeah. on funny. Went like, oh yeah, that's a quick and easy list. There's yeah. definitely a few standouts. Yeah, there's <laughs> definitely, and I, you'll probably recognize a bunch of these songs. Yes. Um, Speaking of, uh, if, if you were around in the 90s, you've probably heard uh, or probably owned the album this is off of. But I think this is one of Weird Al's lesser known songs because it is, a, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, an original. This is Everything You Know Is Wrong. <laughs> 